Hey, Garrett. Hey. hey. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Garrett on the go time. I want I want a theme song. Oh, we want a full song. song my there it is. Yeah, no, hey, you, you get your Garrett on the go action uh, live in Walt right. Disney it's World. Gonna... It looks like Epcot. What's shaking, man? Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, the thing you should know is that if you're at Walt Disney World this weekend, it is the weekend of the Princess Half Marathon. I am seeing people walking around. You can sit there more than welcome, yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, there are a lot of guests walking around with these giant medallions around their necks. And know what they are? They are. It's the 10K. Did you do it? Do you have one with you? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm with these lovely guests right here. Today. Hey there. They're my new family. They're my new family. <laughs> Oh, but they're doing a the half marathon tomorrow. I want to join them for that. But um, first and foremost, the thing you should know is that I am here in the American Pavilion. Uh, and right behind me is the brand new restaurant called the Regal Eagle. What is it, Wade? Smokehouse. Smokehouse, yes. Uh, we need some smoke effects. Do we have any smoke effects in there, Kurt? That's way out of our budget. Oh. <laughs> All right. But if you can see behind me, there's actually a real smoker and it looks incredible. They actually use it. They have wood, they have wood chips, they have all sorts of things around there. Uh, but it is the brand new uh, smokehouse here where they have tons of barbecue food. Uh, I walked in there a few days ago when I was filming a update for what is coming to Epcot. And let me just tell you, the platters of food you get here are enormous. They are easily going to fill my belly and I cannot wait to try it. I've yet to have that chance. Oh, but I have, I have proof of what that, that metal looks like. It has good old Pocahontas on there. Thank you so much. <laughs> so again, it's, it's like, yeah. What, what an though? exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that is the brand new thing that's coming here. There is currently a line out of the door to even get in and order food. Uh, there is outdoor seating, which you can see, and then there's indoor seating in there. This is, of course, where the old uh, restaurant used to, be, used to be. I do not know the name of it. But I love the overall feeling of it where you have bricks for the flooring. You have a smoker. Uh, they actually use it. And then there is an outdoor bar. And I know uh, Tyler will be happy with this. The drinks are not pre-made. They actually make them in front of you, which makes it a lot more authentic. So Heck yeah. Um, th this is a very exciting area to be right now. And um, I imagine when you take a bite of the food in there, it just feels like you're taking a bite of uh, Fourth of July putting in your mouth taking a bite of the fourth of july i like that uh you guys amped up for regal eagle smokehouse i'm excited we're yeah. gonna try to do mobile ordering Ooh, and see yes, how that goes because yes. th that line looks atrocious so i'm excited i really want to try the pulled pork yeah i'm really like, excited i want the pulled pork the brisket i want the onion rings i, I want it all um and then they have like sauces. a whole sauce bar like that i'm i would just want to go to each different sauce and put like a little bit of everything in there and just make a Frankenstein sauce. Get a little saucy. Yeah. yeah. I like the vinegar say. based yeah. like barbecue sauces. So I'm excited they have the vinegar ones. I'm not a big ketchup one. Mm. Mustard's like borderline. Like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really I'm really weird with my barbecue sauces. I guess so. I know. We I know. learned you're a little something about you. Like, you love ketchup. So I'm just like, oh no, I don't like ketchup based sauces. I don't sauces. love ketchup. I prefer it on some things, but I don't. <laughs> I don't, Everything. Feel, <laughs> I don't feel a certain way about it. Oh my just, it's a condiment that I, I add to the... You have like I think you do pocket. love it. You have it in your pocket and you're like... I, I prefer a lot of condiments. <laughs> I, 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 at any rate. Uh, well, uh, so the Regal Eagle... He's getting all uh, flustered about ketchup. I know, he's like, oh my gosh, ketchup. <laughs> I don't feel passionate one way or the other. I, it's just a condiment to me. I okay. Uh, uh, but this smokehouse with Sam Eagle as the, the anchor character... Uh, Regal Eagle, if you will. Uh, knowing this, and there was some controversy in the Disney fan community about this. People were concerned about Sam Eagle and the Muppets sort of invading the Epcot aura of education and uh, becoming a part of sort of this atmosphere. What do you guys make of something like that? I Listen, like they have their own show. Well, not anymore. Or is it back now at Magic Kingdom? And like in Liberty Square. But anyway, I actually kind of thought it was like a fun, like little twist to make it actually exciting. And then for people to get so upset about the Muppets invading America. And then now all of a sudden they kind of like, you know, if you saw the pictures of the interior, they kind of like really restricted it. So mm -hmm. now they're just like paintings and stuff. So now people are upset that there's not enough Muppets. No. So you can't win. 
It does feel very tasteful. Twitter. Everything that we've we've witnessed. So sure. Yeah. It very I thought it's fun. cute. It's not like Sam Eagles coming around being like, "How's your dinner?" Or yeah. Whatever. It's, like, it's that would be overkill. But you know, I like. It, I was I kind of like, I had like a pie in the sky hope that there would be like a Sam Eagle animatronic there or something. That, that would, would be funny. That Same would here. Like talk to people and you know say American things and yeah, maybe poke his head out. You know, at different times during <laughs> yeah. during your meal and and maybe quote uh, the yeah. founding fathers or something. You know, sure. Maybe and funny. and I, I never. I didn't expect it, you yeah. know, but think about it. Like, you know, you go to Cosmic Rays and they, they have uh, what sunny eclipse there. Right. So, That's I mean, it, it could it could work. But um, I don't know. I, I think that everybody needs to chill. <laughs> 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 uh, I really do. Because, um, yeah, there were there was a time where Epcot wasn't supposed to have any type of Disney characters. It was supposed to be just kind of a learning environment. That time is over, everybody. I'm sorry. I mean, there's a um, ride with characters in it in Epcot, so. Well, I mean, yeah, there's plenty of them, I mean, and they're gonna keep on. They're gonna keep on doing it, and, and as time goes on, we're gonna keep seeing more and more IPs come into Epcot. And I'm sorry if you're really against that, but that's where we're at. So every single time they're gonna release something, you're gonna get upset. I just don't think it's a very happy way to live. I think you kind of just need to, you know, remember that everything is gonna keep evolving. And you'll have parts of the Epcot you loved, and there will be new parts uh, that you will begin to love over time. You know, like uh, that's what I really think. Um, you really kind of need to focus on when you get angry about something like Sam Eagle at, at a quick service restaurant. Like, right. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal, everybody. I mean, so. any anything is better than what was there before the Liberty Inn, as I believe it was called, and it was just your your basic. Burgers and fries. There wasn't anything inspired I did love about my it. Gluten-free chicken nuggets, though. Those are pretty good. Well, at least you have that. But I don't have that anymore. But you almost never saw anybody in that restaurant. It was always no, it was quite empty. empty. Yeah. Especially People when used you used it for like just to sit back and relax and play on their phones or something. You know what I mean? It was a big like, indoor air conditioned space. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, when you're in a place like World Showcase, where you have uh, such a huge selection of great food from around the globe, uh, it's a little unfortunate that America had always sort of been uh, lackluster in that regard. So it's nice to hear that we've got a smokehouse in action now. Garrett, what else uh, should we know from Walt Disney World? Okay, so another thing going on is that there's a huge announcement this past week about Cinderella Castle, and that is Cinderella Castle is going gold for the 50th anniversary out here. It is. I'm looking very forward to this because I was at Disneyland's 50th, and I remember when that castle was made gold. And yeah, my friends at the table they agree with me. They said it was gorgeous. Oh, wonderful! They they ran in the they ran for that, and you ran through the gold and everything. Wonderful. But oh, no, it wasn't it wasn't the gentleman's, but. Uh, these two are just giving so much information for me. I love it. Um, but yeah, Cinderella Castle is going to be adding some gold details to it. Nothing too crazy. It's not going to be overpowering. I think it's going to make it look very classical, uh, timeless, and just add a very aesthetically pleasing feature to it. Uh, I don't, from the images that were shown, it doesn't seem to be that there's going to be a giant 50 uh, in gold put on anywhere. It's just going to be small little aesthetics. And I think it's overall going to bring it all together because Cinderella is the second Disney princess, but she is easily the one most associated with the Disney parks because when you think of Disney World, you think of her castle. You don't right. think of um, ex uh, Expedition Everest. You don't. You think you may think of Epcot, but you always the castle always comes to mind. So I'm looking forward to how this is going to look and the other golden features that are going to be added around uh, the castle. I wonder how much they're going to go into Fantasyland, but that is up in the air right now. I'm just glad we've gotten some news about the 50th because not much has been mentioned about anything for the 50th other than there's going to be a Tron roller coaster. Uh, there might be a new parade and that's about it. I got to say, I mean, you're absolutely right, Garrett. When it comes down to what we have been shown of uh, at least concept art wise of what Cinderella Castle is going to look like for the 50th, uh, Tyler Katrina, this thing is beautiful. I love it, and then I also, I, everybody's gonna be like really mad at me, but I also kind of hate it in a way. What? I love the gold asset, like um, aesthetic and stuff, but then the, but like the, ter like what is it called? The the roofs and stuff remind me of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Hmm. So it's kind of like been there, done that. They, you know, I think it should be separate. So I really hope that they don't add like the gold detailing to the to the roof like they do at um, Sleepy Beauty Castle because I, 
again, like you don't want to copy all the time. Sure. And so I'm hoping that they kind of keep it its own personality still. But Something I do really love original. the gold because it's like really pretty and it's going to be super sparkly when it's all sunny and stuff. So I'm excited for it. But I just really hope that they tone down like the pink and then they tone down like the roof to make it its own separate castle, not like a bigger version of Sleeping Beauty Castle. Yeah. That's all I pray for. So like they can be its own. But it still looks really pretty, though. I'm really excited. The father, the son and the Walt spirit. There you go. You pray. <laughs> sure. If sure. that's if that's it your works. thing. <laughs> I uh, I personally think um, I like it as a decoration, as a celebration decoration. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary. I understand. Um, let's let's get a little bit crazy up in here, but to me it's a little gaudy. Mm. And I think that it's kind of the same thing as like what happened with like the Disneyland 60th anniversary where they kind of hung like diamonds across the castle and everything. It was nice as a celebration, but if that was literally how the castle looked for the rest of our lives, you'd be like, ooh, like yeah. somebody needs to back up a little bit on those diamonds and on the, you know, I, you know, like it's just, it gets to be a little too much. It's good for a celebration. It's like confetti. You, you want confetti hanging in your house for a celebration. You got to clean it up afterwards. You know right. what I'm saying? Because otherwise it becomes too much. So that's how I feel about this. I think it's, it's pretty, but it, I, think that the not a forever I think yeah I think that the classic kind of um you know I, I, I'm blanking on the word for it but oh elegant I think it's a little more elegant just mm -hmm. the but way the cool it tones. the way it is you know than it than it will become with this gold but yeah, and can we take a look at the concept art one more time Kurt I mean you use the word gaudy it it seems rather understated for the most part I mean it doesn't uh, when you look at you know what's there currently um, I I don't necessarily see at least the word gaudy doesn't come to mind. I mean, it does seem rather, it, I, you, you definitely see the gold accents, but it doesn't come busy? off as like I guess it's for over me, the top. I guess for me, I call it gaudy because I think that the the colors of the bright blue on the on the roofs mixed with the pink mm -hmm. of the, of like the middle section there, and then you're gonna have like gold highlights all over it, like. I don't know how much to, to me, read into the pink part though. I don't know I really how hope that's it's gonna not, look. It better be like more of a gray cooler tone yeah. or something because again, it's gonna be looking like an expanded version of Sleeping Beauty Castle over at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that. Yeah, we already because, have one of those. Yeah, yeah. We, and, we don't need it. And then there's all these other yeah. castles like over in Paris, it's kind of similar to that coloring. And then uh, what is it? The other one over in like, isn't it Shanghai or something? They have like one with like the like the dark blue and stuff. So it's just like it was nice and it like stood out by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a personal thing. I don't think that anybody is right or wrong. I just to me, I'm I'm looking uh, again at the two pictures side by side, and I really do think that just the normal castle looks much more elegant. But uh, I, I, I'm I'm also happy for a celebration. I, I don't I don't think it's a bad thing it's to make a it a little. Castle. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it's a bad thing to put a little decoration. <laughs> it could on be there. a lot worse, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It could be. <laughs> We've seen the 25th anniversary castle. You're right. See, but that was so stupid. It worked. Uh, well, <laughs> people still talking about it, right? All these exactly. years later. Uh, uh, the term rose gold is what's being used for that sort of pink interface there for um, what you're seeing on the the glow up of the castle for Cinderella Castle. Oh, so. Please with the we'll, rose gold. We'll see what that I looks can't. like in real life. <laughs> uh, I understand that that's happening uh, right now, as a matter of fact. They're they're overhauling things as we speak. So, uh, Garrett, have you heard that? Uh, that uh, the gold is happening right now? The goldifying? Oh, yeah. Rose gold has been big since the rose gold ears made their debut, I think, two to, honestly, it could be three to four years back. Uh, when the rose gold ears came out, I remember they were sold out for weeks ago into in store. We're out of rose gold, we're out of rose gold, and and this has been growing, growing, growing. You see it more in shirts, handbags, the Dooney and Birch, uh, Magic Bands even have a rose gold tinge to it. So rose gold is definitely in right now, ladies. Um, but yeah, yeah, my friends agree with it. Yeah, rose gold is in right now. But I think the castle, it looks good. What I'm hoping for is I'm hoping they add more features to the castle, maybe some fiber optics or perhaps um, if, if you haven't had the chance to go to Disneyland Paris, the castle out there, which is the Beauty Castle, they have water effects to add to their fireworks show. I would love it if the castle got that added on there to add like something special or perhaps making the water around the moat a little cleaner. Um, I'm, but rose gold is in, but uh, I haven't heard much about how much they're going to rose goldify everything. That's the terminology we're using now. <laughs> well, excellent. Rose goldification. Uh, rose, rose goldification. This is the term <laughs> yeah, we're going to yeah. use. And then uh, you have to do the symbol. 
Yes, yeah, do do your Yeah, you do the Rose Goldification. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um but uh the uh the third thing I want to talk about this week is that very soon Flower and uh Flower and Garden is going to be coming here to Epcot and along with that they are going to be bringing uh some Disney Channel stars out here for the last three weekends of um sorry, Flower and Gar uh last three weekends of May. Flower and Garden is going to be having some Disney Channel stars here that will be doing classes, meet and greets, performances. Uh, so if you're a big fan of the Disney Channel, uh, you get to come out and hang out with them. It's a Disney Channel fan fest. So um, me, truthfully, I haven't watched the Disney Channel in a few years just because it's either gotten away from me or I've, I, I, I don't have cable television anymore. I mean, so you seem like their target watch. demographic, so that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Bye, folks. Oh, wait, let's say goodbye to my friends here. Bye. 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 Uh, thank you so much for it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good luck in the race tomorrow. Yeah, drink lots of water. He's making like the bestest of friends. He is. Because we are the kingdom for end. We're creating more of what makes you happy. That's or right. The more of what makes you happy. If I can, if I can actually figure out our tagline. Yeah. But um, but yeah, the Disney Channel stars are coming here, and some stars from like Bizarre Bark are coming. Uh, Zombies too. So some of the Disney Channel original movies are coming out here too. But one thing I'm excited for is that they're going to be having some animation classes where you can learn to draw the characters from some of the uh, amazing shows on Disney Channel. The one I'm rooting for. DuckTales. They're going to be showing you how to draw characters from DuckTales, and woohoo! Um, I cannot <laughs> wait for it because it teach me how to draw a launch pad. Just teach me how to draw a launch pad. That, or, or Gizmo Duck. Uh, that's always good too, but uh, I, I, I'll check it out. I'm not super addicted to Disney Channel, but you know, I'll give it a shot. If they had the characters from Descendants here, oh, I'd be fangirling left and right. Oh my goodness. But when you have the cast members from Bizarre Bark there, I know you're like as you had mentioned, total meltdown mode uh, for you because again, your target demographics. So, um, I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, name your favorite character from Bizarre Bark. Go ahead. Mom number two at the shopping center. There you go. She, she, Thanks for that. Every time she does a phenomenal. Mom number two. Uh, she does a phenomenal job. No, if they were to cast me in that show, I would play some fifteen-year-old kid, even though I'm twenty-six. Yeah. Because that's how it, that's what Disney does. They charge or they they cast people that are thirty to play fifteen-year-olds. I, I don't know, but Disney Disney makes it work. But Jason come on Earls to the Disney Channel Fan Fest 2020. It's going to be lit here at Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, I mean, everybody wants to be there. Uh, yeah, Jason Earls, he was the uh, the brother of uh, Hannah Montana. And oh, uh, right. apparently the guy was like in his early 30s at the time or something like that. He's like a genetic freak where he looks incredibly young. He still I does. no That's idea. Word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he still looks incredibly young. And a um, fun fact for you, uh, he ended up, uh, when I was uh, a part of leadership at the Disneyland Resort, uh, he ended up dating one of uh, my cast members, as a matter of fact, and would come into oh. uh, our area all the time and hang out. And uh, it was really fun. I was watching individuals react and realize, like, oh, my God, it's Hannah Montana's brother Jackson here <laughs> in our in our very seating area. Oh, my gosh. And they'd all flip out and... He, he got used to it, though, I guess. I feel like I wouldn't really sure. recognize him. I used to watch Hannah Montana all the time, and then I feel like maybe if I, I saw him or whatever, he I'd looks be like, he looks really familiar, and like, yeah. and then I would try to put like two and two together. But mm -hmm. I think that little like Epcot thing, like bringing in like the Disney Channel thing is like really fun for the kids. I think if I was like, you know, a young teen or like, you know, I don't know, preteen, I guess, and then I watched like all my Tween. favorite movies and stuff, and then they were going to be there, I would probably like be super stoked to be like, Mom, we got to go. Interesting that it's at Epcot, right? It's like, a, I mean, parents have to be happy too. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like more of like, you know, they can grab a drink or something while the kids go. It feels more like a Hollywood Studios type <laughs> thing or maybe a, a Magic Kingdom type thing. To, to have it at Epcot just seems like an odd place. I feel like more. Hollywood Studios might be a little busy. Ooh, I think that's I think that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I think it's just they have the stage and they have the space and they know it's not like, yeah, Hollywood Studios is going to be kind of slammed at this moment. Uh, it's weird so. to couple this with Flower and Garden, though. Like, I think it, that's very funny to me. And zombies, I think, too? Yeah, I think, right? perfect sense. Yeah, I, know, right? <laughs> I think they're just trying to find, uh, they want to have that, you know, a specific type of show for each, you know, festival. And yeah. this is this is what they've settled on for Flower and Garden. Animal I don't Kingdom, know. anybody? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what else they could do. Yeah. Shove so them into not, Pandora. You know, it's not a bad idea. Yep. Fan it fest makes, makes complete sense. That's right. <laughs> makes complete sense. Dino Land. Uh, yeah. Put them over there. I mean, there's That's, nothing else going on. There's a de- yeah, exactly. Decent <laughs> use for Dino Land for once. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It seems like it could work. Uh, yeah, to have FanFest not only going on um, out there, but also here, as it has for uh, a number of years at California Adventure Park. It is something that I know um, a lot of, especially locals here in Southern California, a lot of kids freak out about, get very excited to be a part of. Um, you know what, Garrett? Uh, I'm, I'm committing to it right now. Uh, I'm coming out in May. We are going to spend a Sunday uh, adoring Disney Channel stars and uh oh we're gonna we're, we'll film the whole thing t-shirts need to be made we will we'll make we'll yep. make custom t-shirts we'll scream what? like fangirls it'll be great i so great. i cannot i absolutely cannot wait are we gonna take our photo where like where like we do the prom photos that we talked about a few weeks ago absolutely yeah our okay. argyle sweater photo step brothers mm-hmm. love argyle sweater i want to i want to chain on but um one reason I believe that they are doing it here because even though it doesn't really fit in, it's because Epcot recently did a major thing, which is they closed all of Future World for the most part. That is a major uh, well, thing. At least, at least innovations in East and West are now completely closed. So uh, the only thing over there that is still open is Mouse Ears uh, in the innovations area. So uh, because when I came into the park the other day, you walk in, half the entrance is closed because they're doing construction. Then you get the Spaceship Earth and then it's like, oh, turn left turn right towards uh the land and the seas or turn left towards uh test track and it it's just a huge the middle of the park is, is gone and at the park now more so a donut than everything than anything before and um i heard guests when they were walking out they're like there's nothing to do here like everything's closed now and n- no it's not it, nothing's closed but, but yeah i was like that doesn't right make sense my test track is undergoing uh refurbishment right now so i think Maybe this is to pull people in there, pull the younger crowd in there, and show that hey, there is life to Epcot uh, more than drinking around the world and um, and festivals. What? So uh, I'm curious as to how it's gonna go. Uh, Wade, you and I, when we're here with our Argyle sweaters, we are going to judge the uh, the crowds, and we will personally interview every guest that we see, asking how they feel about the Disney Channel stars. Being Name your favorite Disney is, Channel star. Absolutely. Um, Mom, Mom three. And, yeah. Um, there you go. And uh, good luck, Charlie. Is that still on the show? Is that still on Disney? <laughs> I, don't, I think that went off the air a couple years ago. <laughs> what about Baron of the Blue House? Is that still on Disney Junior? I think it's been a few decades now. Yeah, that's a while. I was like, oh boy, I I remember watching that in the moon. Mm. Nice try, though. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I I'll stick to my Disney Plus and the Mandalorian. Actually, uh, no, but <laughs> I've actually I've been watching the Tangled animated series. It's actually quite delightful i love it it's very it's really cute. cute i love singles yeah. series uh, i like it too what a like recommendation yeah, well, yeah. wow and the main I, I, stars I, I are back in it too it. mind you thank god absolutely could do it um, any but, other way but last thing i want to announce is that there are rumors going around i don't i don't ever like to add to the rumor mill but i'm adding to the rumor mill is that there are rumors that uh a executive at lucasfilm is in talks about ha- adding a mandalorian meet and greet to to Disney, to the Disney park somewhere. So uh, we'll report on that more when we know, but that's a recent rumor that I've heard. And it's something I called, I've called this, so all credit needs to go to me. But I'm very uh, excited because who doesn't want to meet the Mandalorian and possibly the child? I, I just want to see it do with the hand and, and we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, but, you know uh, that they've been racing to find a way to get those two characters into the parks at this point because of the immense success of The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. Is that something you guys would go visit? I would want to go see the baby, like the child. I'm going to say Baby Yoda, the child. I would want to go see how they would do this, like, animatronic or something, um, like, someone behind, like, a screen, like, underneath, like, the little, like, basket and trying to, like, move its <laughs> hand and stuff in the eyes. I think that would be really cute. Yeah, I mean, they've done that sort of thing with Groot before. They've mm-hmm. done that thing with Remy from Ratatouille. They used to take him around in the French restaurant. And um, <clears throat> if they do that sort of thing, I would love it. If they just had Mando, I don't know, man. I, you gotta have that I don't. Beat. I don't yeah. dislike him. I think he's cool. Um, but he, I think he's like one of. He's not the thing that I come to that show for. Right. You know. So I come to that show more for like. He's like the blank slate that everything sticks to you Mm -hmm. know what i mean and that's that's what you go to the show for so if they have the child there i think that sounds really exciting Um, i think so otherwise 
they already kind of have a Mandalorian walking around, Boba Fett. So yeah. I don't know. I think they need to make it a little different than just having Boba Fett. Sure. I'd love to see it happen. Garrett, anything else before we wrap it up? Um, it smells really good in there, but uh, no, <laughs> nothing else. I'll see you folks much later. Uh, I'm going to smell the food and, uh, and I'll see you somewhere else around the world. All right. Yay. Garrett Hassel at Epcot for us with uh, this week's news coverage of Walt Disney World events. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. 